you know, look, service to the good people of Ghana should actually be an opportunity for you to exhibit your respect for the people, to exhibit your decision to serve the people. Because, of course, if we don't elect you, then how do you become president? I think that the feedback so far has been phenomenal. And I know that there is a clamor even for us to do more. And I'm hopeful that the next one will be in the Ashanti region where we'll be engaging the media on that part of Ghana and then subsequently to the other regions also. Mr. Mahan has always been a very friendly media kind of person. I think that this is an engagement that will continue right through to when he comes into office after the elections. There are those who make the argument that, look, based off on how well he performed, a challenge has been thrown to uh, your main opponents that if they believe they know the issues so well, why don't they come for a debate on matters of the economy and, and, all, and all things in the lead up to December 7? Is this something that you will support if the opportunity avails itself? Let me say one thing. If you look at the recklessness of the new patriotic party, if you look at the pronouncements and the utter disrespect of our political opponents, if you watch the body language and demeanor of John Mahama and Professor Nana Jane it should tell you one thing, that this is a pair of experienced hands that are coming into office to serve the good people of Ghana and not for personal aggrandizement. I ask myself a question every day, what is the purpose? What will be the use of a debate with Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, for example? Let him tell us what he has done with all the lectures, what he has done with all the promises he made. Who is actually fixing the economy now?